Yo, welcome Fronies. Today we want to go over the changes of a big Korean patch that hit today. And it is important to note that this is not the game that you experience in the open better. There's been so many changes already going on in Korea that will hit on global release as well. So it's really important that you listen if you want to be prepared. The first thing is that there's a new rule for death. So it used to be that if you die, you will lose experience. Then you have to go to that little dude there and buy your experience back with Solent. And this was a system in place at the start to ensure that the inflation of the Solent will not go out of hand. And since they've added so many other Solent burners now, they were able to remove that system with no risk. Now you do not have any of the negatives anymore from dying besides having to waste time and going back to your location, which I think in PvE is a lot fairer for the people and more fun. And and for PvP, they did do it the way that um, if you die, you will have a cooldown timer before you can respawn. And that timer will increase with every additional death that you're stacking up. So I think this is also fair and this will be prevent people from zombie rushing in mass PvP. You have to be more coordinated with your guild to go on to another attack. So I think this is a really, really good change. Then they have also acted really quickly on one of the biggest critiques that they received from a enormous amount of content creators and players and this is the increasing cost of rune hammers when you are failing to obtain what you were trying to get so instead of having a pity system where after a guaranteed amount you would get it for real they made it so after you're failing a lot you get punished even more by higher prices and that is finally gone now and now we are having regular costs that stay the same no matter how often you try it making it a lot less pay to win because on average it's way way easier now to achieve this as a free-to-play player and to make it even more achievable they increase the amount of rune fragments that you are getting when you are dissolving runes and those fragments are then used to craft the rune hammers so this is a direct change to being able to farm this in-game faster they've also done two additional changes to make it faster in-game and this is putting them into the contract coin merchant where you can buy 10 of these every week for 60 coins and additionally they have added the rune hammer as a weekly mission with an increase of 50 percent so that you can get up to 15 now there which is also fairly nice then they added something that i have been waiting for for a long time and this is the option to vote to kick someone out of the party especially when you are starting to farm harder dungeons it is really frustrating if you have one person in the party that is basically ruining the experience for five people by not knowing the mechanics of a dungeon. I think it's perfectly fine if people want to figure out the mechanics of a dungeon by themselves, but please do it with five people that are like-minded like you. Don't go into random parties and destroy the experience of five other people. Sorry to interrupt. But if you don't want to get kicked out of the parties, I have been lately working on guides to show how all the dungeons are being defeated in Throne of Liberty. And those guides give you everything, like the fastest pathing, if it's still possible, some exploits to shorten your paths. It will explain you all the boss mechanics. And those guides are usually between three to five minutes. So it's really easy to digest before you do your run. Enjoy. And I think this feature will help getting the experience for the people that already know a dungeon a lot smoother. Then I want to go over one change that I in particularly like. I think we have all been in a situation in a game where our bag is full. We are seeing a bunch of items that we can destroy to make space and then it doesn't work because our bag is full, right? And we need space to do it even though the items are in our bag and they could be stacked on. That was also not possible in Front of Liberty, but now they actually did it so you can dissolve items while your bag is full as long as you have the stack in there and I think this is a huge quality of life improvement that happened to me at least five six times a week especially with the bags being kept at 150 size unless you are wanting to spend real money another great quality of life feature and maybe some um, improvements for people that did not like the combat that much is the opportunity now to remove camera rotation delay I recommend you do it right away when you can if you guys have any questions about the game in general just let me know as always i will answer every comment in less than 24 hours cheers guys